Oui, moi je suis très heureuse. I am very happy about the election of Donald Trump. The choice of the American people was courageous and advantageous. And I think that the United States will once again regain its former image in the world, which had become very damaged, especially by the administration for which Hillary Clinton worked. The United States cannot have the image of warmongers, with all the potential consequences it could have for our respective countries. So that the United States has once again regained an image as an organization of peace is beneficial for us all. When Donald Trump won, the French establishment woke up, seemed frightened, and said, wow, Marine Le Pen can win in France. Do you think Donald Trump's win portends good things for you? I think that the elites have lived too long among themselves. We are in a world where globalization, which is an ideology, has forgotten and put aside the people, the people's interests, aspirations and dreams. They have acted like carnivores who use the world to enrich only themselves. And whether it's the election of Donald Trump or Brexit, the elites have realized that the people have stopped listening to them, that the people want to determine their futures and in a perfectly democratic framework, regain control of their destiny. And that panics them because they are losing the power that they had given themselves. So yes, in these conditions, if the French people too wish to regain their independence, wish to regain control of their country, and wish to reinforce the elements of security, the borders, the rule of law, economic patriotism, then I will be elected president. We already see anti-establishment effects here. There was actually a Republican primary here in France yesterday. Nicolas Sarkozy, the polls said he would be the winner. Guess what? He got shellacked. He came in third, another victim of this anti-establishment wave. The winner, very interestingly, guys, a very pro-free market guy who insulted civil servants who went on strike and survived. Seems very unfrench. So we're seeing changes here, just like we are in the United States. M Michelle, talk us through just very quickly some of the other things that Marine Le Pen stands for, because uh, there are perhaps some similarities with, of course, the anti-establishment nature uh, of Donald Trump and Brexit as well. But there's also some stark policy differences. So. They're both very similar in their uh, tonality on immigration, about controlling the borders, about who should be allowed into the country. That's very, very similar. Her economic program, though, you might do describe as slightly muddled. Uh, she's very French in that she believes that there should be a lot of state intervention into the economy. She's very comfortable with that. She says she's pro-business. But when I asked her very specifically, what's the best way to divide a nation's resources? Is it the market or is it the government? She said both. And then if you look actually within the economic plan of her party, they actually talk about price controls on things like bread and flour, basic food necessities. So it's not free markets like the guy who won the uh, Republican primary here yesterday, Francois Fillon. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.